Hey guys, my name is Kay, and welcome back to Voices from the Sea. This is where we left off the last time, so let's get started. <clears throat> A day has passed since I met her. At that time, I didn't know what she would bring to my life. I thought it was just another one of those mundane days. Cantus, look what I made for you today. It's your favorite chicken pot pie. You should eat it while it's still warm. How is it? Is it good? You know, the other day I met. She was bragging about how awesome her son is. He's so good at academics and sports. Noise. Huh? I'm leaving. Wait, I'm not done talking. At least finish your food. Cantus! <sighs> He's so rebellious nowadays. Adolescence, huh? I've been there before. We ruined the day right from the get go. I don't really need to hear how other kids are doing better than me, Mom. I guess this is the only place where I won't have to deal with noise. Cantus! Just before I could relax, a voice interrupts me. That voice. Followed by it is the sound of footsteps running across the sand. It doesn't take long before the familiar figure stands right in front of me. I've been waiting for you! Crap, I've totally forgotten about her. Are you ready for round two? Round two? What are you talking about? Oh, you're so forgetful, Cantus. To think you're just 13. So, what is it? We promised yesterday, didn't we? Mars is going to make you smile in seven days. Oh that. Come on, you should be more excited. Mars is so excited that she couldn't sleep all night. All night? Don't you have to go to school? That's not important. What's important here is how to make you smile. Right. Mars is really confident this time. Alright, here goes nothing. Once upon a time, there was a troubled man. On his the way home, he stumbled upon the bookstore. There, he discovered a book that is said to be able to solve 50% of your problems. The troubled man decided to buy two of them. Do you know why? It's because he wants to solve 100% of his problems. It's funny, isn't it? What? Was that supposed to be funny? I thought funny stories would make people happy. It might work if it was actually funny. Boo. That's fine. Mara still has another one. I think this one is funnier. Once upon a time, there was a loving couple. On the way home, they stumbled upon a cake shop. Unable to make up her mind, the girl decided to choose two cakes instead of one. Her boyfriend told her that she cannot pick two. What do you think she did? She decided to pick three instead. It's funny, isn't it? And then, no silence. Okay, maybe not. Mars failed again. Huh? No way. She looks like she's about to cry. What should I do? Fine. Let me tell you a funny story. Huh? Does Cantus know how to tell a funny story? Of course. 
But Cantus doesn't look like the type who knows how to do it. It's not rocket science. Anyone can do it. Here goes nothing. Once upon a time, there was a creature who wanted to have fun. He decided to give three movie tickets to its wife. The confused wife asked, why three? It replied, it's for you and your parents. Now that's what you call a funny story. The long silence returned once more. Except this time, it's twice as awkward. Maybe. Maybe Mars has no sense of humor. Uh huh? No way, she looks even more depressed than before. This won't do. I should try something else. That's right. She liked the seashell I gave her yesterday. Maybe that would cheer her up. Alright. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Winding sand. Do I keep it? Alright, this should do. Hey, look at what I found. Oh! I know you like the seashell I gave you yesterday. Here, you can have this one. You're giving this to Morris? Don't make me say it twice. But, what kind of seashell is this? I don't know. I thought Cantus like seashells. That doesn't mean I know everything about them. You can just call it whatever you want. Really? Okay then, let's see. What should I call this? It's spiral like someone's belly. Let's call it Cantus's belly. Where the heck did you get that from? <laughs> well, at least that cheers her up. I hope. I can't really tell when it comes to this girl. But I don't get it. Why did Cantus give this to Morris all of a sudden? It's nothing special. I thought you looked down, so... Uh oh! You're trying to cheer me up? Thank you, Cantus. You're so sweet. I don't even know why I did it. She's always so cheerful. Obnoxiously so. But for some reason, I find it harder to see her upset. Wait a minute. Something is wrong here. What's wrong? I should be the one to cheer you up, not the other way around. Don't cheer me up anymore, okay? Sorry, you're not making any sense here. It's not like I'm depressed or anything. Besides, why are you doing this in the first place? What's the point of making me smile? Morris wants to see you smile. I'm sure Cantus has a pretty smile. It's just a smile. I don't see why you have to be so persistent. There are many smiling people out there. You don't have to see mine. No. It has to be Cantus. If you're not smiling, wouldn't that mean you're not happy? Morris wants to see you happy. I'm not happy. It's true that I don't remember when was the last time I smiled, but am I that unhappy with my life? I've never really given that a thought. Just do whatever you want. 
You said that yesterday. Just so you know, I won't smile without a reason. Only idiots smile for no reason. You said that yesterday too. You might just be wasting your time. You never know until you try. It doesn't seem like I can change your mind. Yep. You're so weird. You know that? <laughs> you said that yesterday too. It was a conversation that goes nowhere. It was probably meaningless too. Yet, it was strangely relaxing. As relaxing as sitting on the beach all day, listening to the fleeting waves. That was just another one of those mundane days. Yet, I can't say I hate it. That will be it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.